guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to Season 3, Episode 3 of Don Machi. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Not sure. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, thank God. You know, what if the mission... I, I don't think it's going to have to deal with Weenie, but I have a feeling they're going to be like, hey, I need you to kill Weenie. I, I don't want that, though, because Weenie is Weenie. And Look at her! She's so fucking adorable! Like... <laughs> oh, don't make me cry again, please. Like, not today. No, 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 no. Make me cry tomorrow or on my birthday, even though I am not recording anything on my birthday. Like, mm mm. No Patreon shows or anything. Maybe I will. I don't know. No, I'm not recording anything on my birthday. Sunday is my birthday, and I deserve to have a full day off, not worrying about Patreon shows, not worrying about anything else I need to get done. All that's coming out that day is pretty here and pretty here only. On Monday is when I can deal with the Patreon shows and such, because. I just need one little day to me, and that's my birthday. Am I getting drunk on my birthday? I don't know. I don't think I am. I may have a couple of drinks, but not like I did on my 21st birthday. I just think I'm going to be, you know, chill and hang out with my mom since, you know, can't go anywhere because we're quarantined. I would have liked to have been out by quarantine to go out on my birthday, but no, we're still quarantined. This is our new normal. Okay, so what exactly do you want him to do? So? So they already knew that he had? It's just complicated. But how? What can you do to help Weenie? They had to. If it wasn't from yesterday, maybe from the beginning. I didn't expect them to find out by episode three. Maybe like five or six, but not three. And are they making everybody in this group go in the familia? I mean, oh god. Hell, all of you might even die. You have to go. There's nothing else you can do. 
No, Belle, don't be sorry. It's not your fault. You didn't know that this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like when you saved Haru last season, you never regretted that. Yeah. I, I feel you, puppy. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Christ, no matter what. Something about that letter, though. Cody? I love you, but you gotta go lay down. I gave you what you wanted, and I know you want attention. I gave you attention, too, before I started this. And here you come. Oh, baby. Come here. Mm. Okay. You sit down, okay? No, she's just scared. Yeah. Oh my god, freaking, I love my hair, but at the same time. Oh, baby. God, you just don't care how many you kill, do you? Seat bell, you say that, and then something's gonna fucking happen. Mm hmm. It makes you wonder why, like, she's not going with them. But she's gonna figure out the truth about that letter, of course. Fuck up? Are you serious? Who does that shit? Like, seriously. Come on, Winnie.
The things on the walls kind of look like hieroglyphics. Hmm? No, there's something else. So, yeah. She has to go down there by herself? Wait, what, what, uh, the light! Okay, wait, Cody. There you go. Why, though? Mm, you're right about that. There is no way in hell they're gonna get through this, though. It's okay. You had to use what you had to use, right? Oh, Queenie. My thing is, like, why don't you guys just go ahead and form a circle around her so that, I mean, all y'all got y'all backs to her, but then some of y'all can have y'all fronts to her, I'm just saying. And suspiciously, no one else is there. Because it's a trap. Mean it? Hmm. What do you hear? Something calling you? Oh, okay, a song. And now everybody else here too. It could be calling to you. Yeah, but be careful, though. You don't know what's up behind there. Ugh, hate getting shivers. Nothing? Bell? Do you see bodies? Uh. <laughs> There's something right- Oh!
No, wait, I, I don't think it wants to fight, though. There's too many. Y'all gonna die. Oh my god. This is now Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. How are you going to kill all these things? Oh god. Jesus Christ, because if Haru would have died, I probably would have been done with this show. Okay, can we please... For the love of Christ, just talk about what the fuck just happened. I, I mean, this was a trap! Oh my god, there's no end to this. Huh? What the fuck? If the if they would save her, yeah. Bruh, I. <laughs> Okay, bye. Oh, Jesus. <laughs>
Go on. <laughs> oh. Oh, because if this would have ended badly, oh my god. Okay, so they're just not gonna opt and leave her, right? I mean, yeah, Weenie's found a home and she's safe. Xenos. Okay, makes sense. But how? Because of the fact is Bell's connected with Vene? I mean, that makes the most sense because... Episode one of this season. I mean, oh, but at the same time, I was thinking what was going to happen next is that in the end, they would have left Weenie to be with this kin for like maybe a couple episodes, like two, three at the max, and then eventually come back for her. And Weenie could make that decision if she wants to stay or if she wants to go. But I don't think we're going to go that route because I feel. At the same time, somebody also followed Val and friends. They stayed closely behind, maybe fought if they needed to, but they, they somewhere. They close. They waited until that right moment. And then, you know, when Belle and them go home for the night or the day, whenever there's a moment where it's just, mm, okay, we're going to go in and then they're probably going to kill all of them. I don't know. Um... But this episode was very unexpected. Did not expect everything to go out the way it was. I mean, for a moment, seeing all these Xenos and thinking, oh my god, yeah, y'all about to fucking die. Like, there's so many monsters. And y'all are in this small little group. But the fact that they were being tested to choose between, in a situation of life and death, do we protect the girl or whoever that we really truly care about or do we just say fuck them and run away and because it is bell kirito kirito bell mm -hmm. he is always gonna protect at the end of the day and so oh my god i just i can't i just mm. something just tells me with the good that we got into this episode something bad is coming with um episodes four five and six to the end of this season but whatever it is we ain't gonna find out but like as i said i feel like somebody was watching them besides all of these monsters there had to be someone else closely who was watching them walking with them at the same time how someone could have used like magic to have something follow them and to record their every moment uh, movements to find out where the hell they were going and everything. Because I feel like that hunter and the rest of his um, familia were there with them. And they know where the hell Weenie is. And they're going to take Weenie when she's at her most vulnerable moments. Which is going to happen soon. Even though this is only episode 3. So I'm guessing like episode 6 through 7 that's when she's probably going to get taken. I don't know. But... They're going to use Weenie to get the rest of these Anos and to take them in and to kill them. Because, I mean, 
this dude has already killed another one officially in this episode. Who knows how many more he's going to kill by the end of this, but we ain't going to know until later. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of season three of Don Machi. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for episode four. Bye, guys.